Hi, I'm Tom Lydon at the New York Stock Exchange. I'm here with Kevin Carter, CEO of EMQQ, one of the most innovative ETFs that you've seen out there. Kevin, tell us about EMQQ and what's going on in the markets today. Well, EMQQ is the Emerging Markets Internet ETF, and uh, what it does is invest in all of the internet companies uh, in emerging markets, the developing world, which is 85% of the world's people. The story's about the consumer, and just as consumption here is changing because of the smartphone, uh, it's changing there, uh, but it's, it's even more powerful uh, in the developing world because they've never had traditional consumption infrastructure. So EMQQ is really, uh, I believe, the tip of the spear in terms of where growth is globally. 85% of the world's people getting their first computer in form of a smartphone, getting their first internet access, and then doing everything online. Their bank accounts, their shopping, their communications. So obviously the U.S. markets had a good year, but emerging markets and China in particular have struggled, like largely uh, as a result of concerns about the so-called trade war. So the trade war is happening, and it's uh, certainly affected emerging market stocks, it's affected Chinese stocks, but ultimately the companies that are, are part of EMQQ aren't really involved. We use online shopping a lot here in the U.S., although it only accounts for 10%, of retail space. Yeah. I have Amazon packages arriving all the time. How are we different than emerging market countries as far as our appetite for online shopping? Well, we're way behind them because we've had bank accounts, we've had ATM cards, we've had Target stores, we've had computers, we've had the internet. Most of the world is just getting their first computer in form of a smartphone, their first internet access, and there is no Target store and there is no bank account. And so it's this leapfrogging effect where uh, these billions of consumers are becoming consumers as so-called digital natives with a supercomputer in their pocket with high-speed internet attached. So this, this computer in their pocket, their life revolves around this? Just as ours does, but even more so because they don't have televisions on the wall with 500 stations. They don't have you know, a wallet with an ATM card in it. Give us a little taste of some companies that you really like. Well, Alibaba and Tencent are the biggest companies in, in the fund, um, and uh, you know they are the dominant and most important companies in terms of um, internet companies in emerging markets in China. If you spread the geography, you look at uh, uh, South America, you have Mercado Libre, which is actually our, our best performer so far this year. Um, this is the uh, leader in e-commerce and uh, online payments everywhere from Mexico to Brazil. You also have a more recent listing, Stone Co., another South American company. This is a, a Brazilian online payments company that Berkshire Hathaway actually invested in on the IPO. It was a recent addition to EMQQ in our uh, last month. Probably the, the one that is uh, most notable right now is Jumia, which is the African leader in e-commerce, which l trades here uh, on the New York Stock Exchange as of two months ago. So wow. the same thing that's happened in our lives is happening around the world and it's happening faster in emerging markets in China, in India, in South America, in Africa. Uh, and Jumi is listing here on the NYC, just a great you know, example of, of yeah. what's happening in the world. Yeah, so if you want to dive in, lift up the hood, you show every day what your holdings are, go to EMQQ, look at these companies, find out more about it. Kevin, as always, great seeing you. Thank you. Thanks. Good to see you.